Hello and welcome back. So um, this last video for this week, we are going to look at the Chan Wiss uh, segmentation model or active contours without edges. But before that, we will look at uh, the so-called Mumford Shaw functional, which serves as the basis for many such algorithms. Okay, so uh, these uh, two scientists approximate uh, an image f by a piecewise smooth function u. Okay, and as the solution to the variational problem. Right, so they just want to estimate u from the following functional that I have shown here on the right. Okay, so there are three terms here. So there is a length c is the curve, u is the approximation of the image. Right, so image is given by f. That's your given image. You are approximating f with u, and you are also trying to figure out at the same time a contour c. Okay. Um, so, so basically you can think of it as you know, given an image, you want to segment it into its constituent pieces, but um, you do so by uh, making, you know, by smoothing each of those regions or making them, um, you know, easier to identify, okay. That's a very crude way of looking at it. So, um, so the Mumford Shaw, uh, uh, the functional, it tries to, this is the functional and what you're trying to estimate is U and C, where U is the um, approximation of the image f and c is the contour that you are seeking. Okay, so the length penalty is the first term. It makes sure that the curve is smooth. Okay, and it has of course a, a hyperparameter mu for it. This is the data fidelity term. You want u to be as close to f as possible. Okay, and the uh, last term makes the function smooth but allows for discontinuities at the edges. So overall, you want gradient of u squared. We want to minimize this. So, uh, which means that you want, you know, you, you will be almost be very smooth in uh, similar regions, it want to be smooth, but there is discontinuous allowed at the edges. Uh, this is a difficult problem to solve because you want to optimize it both in terms of u and c. Okay, so you are trying to estimate a u and also the contour at the same time. Okay, so uh, this is the, uh, you know, the most general form of the segmentation. Okay, so basically what you are trying to do here is to post the image segmentation as a in the, in this uh, in the, as a variational problem, okay, a very systematic way of doing this, and the segmentation which we seek is uh, uh, is represented both by u and c, okay, both by the uh, approximation of f which is u, as well as the contours that segment each of the components of u or f, um, okay. So this is a hard problem to solve. So an approximation to this problem. Is, is solved by this paper called Chan, uh, written by Chan and Weiss. It's called the Chan Weiss segmentation algorithm. So their solution was you just did it with two regions and with some uh, you know tricks that are typically even used to this day. It's a very popular paper. Most people tend to uh, use this typically because implementation seems to be at least appears to be slightly more easy than others. Okay. So the idea is to uh, do the Mumford Shaw model with two regions. So it calls omega 1 and omega 2. Okay. And omega 2 is everything other than omega 1. And of course, we saw this heavy side function h of phi, h phi or h of phi is 1 when phi equal greater than 0. Okay. And 0 otherwise, which means if phi greater than 0 means x belongs to the one region. And phi and phi equal to zero means x belongs to omega two. So omega one, omega two are like you can think of it them as foreground and background. So let's say you have an object that's the foreground you want to segment that, and they and those regions phi of x, right, would be positive, right, and in other regions phi of x would be zero. Okay. So then now you have this energy term which which you can write in this form. Okay. So why, why are we writing this in mu i? Because you remember this, we have this f minus mu squared, right? Now, now we have, instead of that, we have these two terms where i minus mu 1 squared here and i minus mu 2 squared in this domains. Okay. So basically what this is called a piecewise uh, constant approximation. So where you are assuming that inside uh, the foreground has, depending on which one you uh, treat as foreground, I'm going to treat omega 1 as foreground. Foreground has constant value mu 1, background has constant value mu 2. And of course, we are also looking at the length of the curve here, the delta omega. Okay. So, um, this is basically you can derive this from the previous functional that I showed you, right? Assuming that there are only two regions, and we say that two regions are you know, piecewise flat in the sense, instead of saying smooth, you just say that they, you know, they 
um, they have values mu1 and mu2 or the mean values are mu1 and mu2 you can form because see this integral is over uh, omega 1 this integral is over omega 2 so but then we want to have uh, this is difficult to uh, um, you know what you call integrate because we don't know a priori omega and omega 2 so in order for these of with that way okay so and we can of course rewrite it in this computation we multiply it with the heaviside functions right so now we know whenever phi is 0 you know some values are uh, you know h of phi is 1 uh, when phi of x is greater than 0 and h of phi is 0 and phi of x is less than 1 so depending on um, you know what, what where x lies you know these integrals would kick in and of course we can also uh, approximate the length of the curve this way okay so um, but then h of phi is not a differentiable uh, function because it's something like h of phi is something like this if, if it's a h of x okay is equal to x equal to 0 so everything greater than 0 it's 1 and everything less than 0 it's 0 so this sort of function of course at this point there's a discontinuity so it's not a, a differentiable function so typically you would have an approximation to this, a smooth approximation to this. So, in the previous video, we saw the smooth approximation to the delta function. Similarly, you can have something h, which is what people do because derivative with respect to that is delta phi. And with, with all that uh, put in, then we can actually write down the, uh, you know, the Euler-Lagrange equations for that function where, where again, once again, this is uh, in terms of the uh, level set function phi. Uh, so, d phi by dt is given in this by this expression okay here and we have made once again smooth approximations to both h and delta okay so um, of course we we solve this by gradient descent and we try to um, get us appropriate segmentation now this is a very uh, uh, say popular method also effective method for obtaining segmentations and this is one of the, um, the latest methods in the um, using the calculus of variations okay so um, so far in the last few weeks you know, so we have we have looked at you know different um, techniques for you know image uh, you know image contrast improvement we uh, looked at image registration and now in this week we are looking at pd we looked at pd based methods uh, primarily they which emerged from you know from a variational uh, formulation and of course from just by instead of just tracking x y points in a contour we embed them in a level set function and evolve that function and based on that there are a bunch of methods okay so next week we will look at one particular technique which i uh, which i try to treat separately which is basically the um, <laughs> using similar approaches but then we also have a model a okay, shape model so here you know we have the regularization using some smoothness criteria there you have a, a priori uh, shape model which you use for regularization okay so we will look at that next week we will also look at some uh, demonstrations of these algorithms thank you